get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. <laughs> Doody do that. Hey, what up? It's your boy Duke Mungus. And today, yes, got me a new helmet. I had to get a new helmet because y'all already know if you're new to the channel and you don't know I had to get a new helmet, this is why I had to get a new helmet. So I decided to go with the Bale Star. It's not the Race Star, the Choice of Professionals. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I'm not a professional after <laughs> after what has happened with uh, after what happened with Roscoe, but uh, this is the helmet. Let me uh, let me show you the old helmet so I can show you why I had to uh, why I had to upgrade or why I had to replace it. Set this down for a second. All right. So this is um, this is my helmet from the incident. Uh, make sure it's all right. This is my helmet from the incident as you can see it's scratched up took a pretty nasty gash right there um, So it just won't work this little vent right here doesn't even work. It's supposed to uh, it's Supposed to rotate it doesn't even move and you look you can see I haven't even cleaned out the grass or dirt or nothing I just I knew I wasn't gonna be using this um, This helmet again the rule of thumb is after you have an incident don't use the helmet again, so Set that to the side. So I got a uh, Bell Star helmet. It's one I've been looking at for a while. Um, actually got it off of. Uh, actually got the helmet off of eBay. Um, I got it uh, as an open box. Um, so I got a stupid deal. Don't look at the back of this thing. Ooh, look at that checker. That joint look good. So I got it on a stupid deal because it was an open box. And actually, um, I got the helmet about three weeks ago, uh, but there was an issue with the helmet that came in. It had a, uh, a crack at the back, and I'll insert a picture of that. It had a crack at the back. I think it was over here somewhere. But anyway, uh, Bellstar being freaking awesome. They, bro, ship me the helmet back. I will ship you a brand new helmet, no extra cost. So I got a brand new helmet for open box price. And, uh, it was pretty freaking awesome, man. So I like this uh, checker pattern. I think that's gonna look good with Deadshot against that red. Look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! And I think I'm gonna get like a little dude mungus emblem or something stuck right there. But dude, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be nice. Something else I like about this helmet, it comes with the Pro Tint um, shield on there. So if you have glasses, it's like the transitional lens or whatever. So when it's like sunny out, the lens gets dark. And then when it's dark out, it goes back clear again. So we're gonna test that out right now. I'll let y'all see what that look like. Look like you got a uh, you got a brow vent up here, and you got I don't know if you call it forehead top of the head vent, and then you got um, you got another vent at the back right here. So I always leave man when I first get a helmet I always start with everything open, everything open. You also got a front uh, front right here. Oh, and there's also a uh, dang I don't even know if you can see it, but there's an inside uh, one right there you can pull, but I'm not gonna pull that one. Uh, just because I know I'm gonna be vlogging with the helmet and I don't want to um, I don't want to mess everything up anything up um, But yeah, man, so this is the new helmet. Let me set that on there. I really need a um, I really freaking need a helmet helmet donut, but this is it. I like this um, I like this uh, I like this neck curtain it has uh, hopefully that ends up blocking the wind and it has a uh, These little cool push tabs man. I think it's gonna be really good. The uh, Arfa has a tab but this one I think is gonna be a little bit better. And speaking of Arfas, I am getting another Arfa because they came out with the uh, Superman graphic and that joint, that joint is hard as heck. The Superman graphic is too hard. So I'm gonna end up getting another one. Uh, I'm definitely getting another Arfa because I got to have the Superman. Bro, 
you see the super, where is it at? I don't know where it's at, but you see the Superman, bro. I got to have the Superman. Got to have the Superman. And uh, something else I like about this uh, Bellstar is it has this, um, has this MIPS technology. <laughs> I love it. This helmet is equipped with added protection against rotational motion. So, you already know, this was, <laughs> this was me against Scruffles, that gummit. So, uh, uh, and this would have been me had I been wearing the MIPS helmet. You know what? I don't want to try this out. I'm just going to take Bellstar's word on it. Hopefully, I never have to test this out. But I think this is a good safety feature. Wifey loves it because she loves anything safety. She's like, I don't care what you do, babe. Long as it's the safest thing out there, go for it. So I'm going to enjoy this uh, little MIPS. But anyway, yep, that's the new helmet, guys. Um, and something else I've been asked. Uh, I've been actually asked this um, actually ever since I started um, ever since I started YouTube. Uh, someone always asks what gear am I wearing so I'm gonna just show you guys real quick what gear I'm wearing um, just so you know the next video I'm gonna be setting this up for moto vlogging so long as this works with my setup dude we're gonna be going this will be the official new helmet for dude money that checker is hard though bro gets that red <laughs> all right guys so here is my uh, Alpine uh, star tech air jacket. I don't have the airbag vest yet because I Just I ain't got the money. That's another twelve hundred dollars <laughs> That I got to get so I got the Alpine star jacket uh, With the tech air. Uh, it's tech air race compatible. I just got to get the vest um, It has a waterproof on the left side. Uh, so this is where I keep um, This is where I keep like my phone and electronics whenever I have to hold them in my pocket just because I never plan on getting caught in the rain, but just in case I do, this is a waterproof pocket. And then this is the side I keep uh, other stuff on, whatever, wallet, power bank, whatever I need to do. Um, so that's that. I got a pair of Alpine Star gloves that I wear. Just, um, they're just some summertime short cuff gloves with the carbon fiber. They feel good. Uh, they give me good motion and good protection. And I got, I like this little cushion it has right here. Um, Anybody knows Ducatis aren't known for being the most comfortable thing in the world, especially Deadshot, because this is before they was worried about comfort. <laughs> so these, uh, that little cushion helps a lot. And then um, I rock these Alpine Star Spectres, Sectors, I think. Um, the toe is kind of crunching up because I'm on my tippy toes all the time, but it's a real lightweight shoe. I didn't realize I wore it down that much. It's a real lightweight shoe, so it's, Good for riding, comfortable. I can literally wear these all day. Now they are a little narrow. Um, I have fat feet, and so with these being a little narrow, you know, um, you know, my feet had to stretch it out. But I mean, they're still stupid comfortable, ridiculously comfortable. Someone also asks, "What's my filming setup and how do I film?" So currently, I can't show you. Oh, let me do it in 360 camera. So currently, I have the GoPro Hero 8 uh, black, and it has the media mod around it. Um, and then here I use my GoPro Max um, as my rear facing camera. So this is actually really cool. Let me uh, let me get this set up and show you guys how this uh, actually how this works. Make it try and hook this up for me. This up pretty cool. So you come over here and it's a uh, actually you sit there. I'm gonna show these guys with the GoPro Hero 8. So it's literally it's hard to see because there's no light, but it's a GoPro mount um, that my license plate is attached to. So I take it off. Oh, it wasn't supposed to go flying. This is a real quick thing we did because when we put on the Van Diemen exhaust, uh, my NRC wouldn't fit in between the cans. So uh, literally, this is uh, this is what we do. So flip the legs out on the 360 cam, right? And so it's attached like that. Literally, this is what we do. Hopefully, I can show this with one hand. Y'all know your boy in one hand don't be working too well. Dang it, I know that's dark. Um, Shoot, let me see if I have a, uh, let, me get my, let me get my phone. Here we go. I know this is dark in there, but look. This. So that's my GoPro mount. So literally, uh, it's gonna break. I'm hard, I can't do this with one hand. But anyway, all right. So the GoPro Max literally clips in there and it's good to go. Here, shine the light back on it. So it clips in there and it's good to go. So I have a 360 camera with 360 mount. So I literally turn it like this. You literally can turn it any way you need to turn it and it literally will stay 
put. I didn't think it would stay put, but it literally stays put. So that's how I do um, my setup for the rear. Something else you might see me with when I'm riding is my uh, is my fanny pack. Um, extra cables, extra dongles, extra batteries, extra something every day. <laughs> All right, and then one last thing, I'm always asked, I don't know why, but I wear regular jeans. These are just regular jeans from Kohl's. I don't have any official motorcycle riding jeans. So. <laughs>